All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and uh, open up the Level Hike uh, HD cable for PS2 and PS1. You can find this on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description down below. So this here has the connection for your PlayStation 2. And uh, it connects to HDMI as well. Let's get this out of here. All right. So this one here, as you can see, this is the HDMI cable. This is the PlayStation 2 connection. This goes to the back of the PS2. And then here is the adapter. Now this little thing here has um, a toggle where you can go from a four three aspect ratio to 69 aspect ratio. So that is if you want the wide screen or the uh, square screen. So, you know, you have that choice there. And uh, here is the, basically the power cable because this needs a little bit of juice, you know, so it can power on and stuff. And here's the cable for that. So you connect this to the side here. And then this, you connect either to the socket here on your PlayStation 2 or any other power source. Here's the uh, USB port right there on the PS2. Now this works on both on PlayStation 2 Slim and the PS2 Fat model, it doesn't matter. Anyways, again, this is the, um, the device here with the USB cable for the power and the HDMI cable. Here we have the M Classic Upscaler. And then this here is for PS4, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro, Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch, PS3, Wii U, PlayStation 2, Xbox One, and it works on all this other stuff here. You can see it here and many more. So again, this makes the picture look a little bit better on the screen. And this too is also in the description down below. I'll leave a link where you can buy it from Amazon. And there's the contraption, the little device. It goes right there. It needs a little bit of power as well, so you power that right here. We have the HDMI and the other HDMI. So here is the uh, cable for the HDMI and for the power. Now here is the schematic for this. Basically, we connect this black side to the console, and then we connect the red to the monitor. So why do we need both of these things? Why can't I just use this by itself? Well, obviously, this doesn't have a connection for the PS2 socket, does it, right? It doesn't. So what we do here is this goes to the source, connect that to here, right and then connect this to the PlayStation right here and here we have the PS2 connection put that in there BAM we got the PS2 connected with the with the HDMI converter right and then HDMI to the HDMI upscaler power source and then connect it to the front side of the um, of the PlayStation 2 so it can get some power. Okay, so I plugged it in and I was wondering why the light did not turn on. Well, that's because you gotta turn on the PlayStation 2. So the PS2 turns on and then there you go, the light turns blue. You can't tell, I don't think you can tell on the camera, but it is blue. Okay, so we have that powered on. Now we gotta power on this bad boy. And that is where we get this cable from. So this cable will power the M2 Classic, right? So let's go ahead and connect the M2 Classic to here. Right? And then let's connect that to the other socket here on the PlayStation 2. And then now we got this LED on, that LED on, so we have power, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have power, right? So we got those two things powered. Now, the only thing we gotta do is connect this to my monitor. So we gotta go ahead and put the HDMI cable here, connect it to the monitor. Let's go ahead and connect this here. So everything is powered on. Let's see how good this image looks. 
okay, on the uh, monitor. All right, so this is gonna go on the monitor. Give me one second while I connect that. Okay, so that's connected. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the tray thing here and put the game in. Close that. Here, spinning up. And there it goes. All right. Whoa, that looks actually really good. It looks like my screen has some kind of like smudges on it or something. Let me use, let me use my awesome uh, PlayStation 2 socks to clean this. <laughs> oh man, these are clean by the way, so. Eh. It looks good, right? It looks good. Oh, that looks really good. I mean, the text is legible. It looks really good. There you go. Wow, that looks really awesome. That looks really awesome, guys. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at me dancing. I'm ready. Whoa. Yeah. Let me go ahead and turn off this light here so we can get a little bit better picture. That's off. Okay. Wow, that looks good, guys. What do you think so far, huh? <laughs> That's nice. I'm really impressed so far by the picture. Okay, let me go ahead and stop this real quick. Let me stop that in intro. All right, dude, that looks amazing, actually. Whoa. Marco Bistro, Liberty City, 1986. One year before I was born. Tommy Vecetti, huh, shit. Didn't they never let him out? He kept his head down. Helps the people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, all right, let's skip that and let's get into the action, guys. Remember this, man. This is so awesome. Vice Beach. I hope I you guys are enjoying this video. Oh. For one freaking second, it paid shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you going to do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Okay. I haven't played this game in literally, like, I don't even know, what, 15 years? Wow, that looks, looks pretty good, huh? Okay. Let me see. Are there any options in-game? I don't think there's any. This Oh, look. Display, brightness, map, trails... Okay, it does have widescreen. What are trails? Let me turn trails off. I'm not sure what that is. Screen position, that's good. All right, so let's go back, hit enter. Good. Okay, I think it had some kind of like blur effect to it before or something. I don't know. It looks pretty good though, right? What do you guys think? How does it look? Let me know. So let's get back in this car. Whoa, I forgot how to play already. It's been so long. Let's get in this little motorcycle. How about that? Still trying to get on there. Okay, cool. And how All right, guys, let's do this little stunt jump right here. Okay. Wow, this is bringing back so many memories. This is crazy. Let's do it, guys. Come on. Whoa. Who's with me? Let's do it. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Water means death. Wasted. So guys, what is the verdict? The verdict is that it does its job and it looks absolutely great. It looks really, really good. Okay, so I mean, if you wanna tweak the settings in the monitor to make it, you know, the colors the way you wanna see them, you can do that if you want. But um, let's see if we take off this M. I don't even wanna, let me see. Let's try to take off the M Classic here. Let's take it off. 
and just use the black uh, adapter without this upscaler. Want to try that? Let's try that. Okay, so I just unplugged the M Classic and I'm plugging in the uh, HDMI just to this black thing here. So let's do that. And it looks wider. Oh, I guess the M Classic was, you know, stopping it from being uh, 16 by nine. Because now if I change this toggle here, you can do four, three, and 16 by nine. Cool. But as you can see, the text is not as sharp as it was before. It looks great on the screen still though. Let's boot up uh, GTA Vice City once more. I mean, we do have a bigger, a bigger screen, but in my opinion, it looked a little bit sharper with the other image. Although it looks amazing still, it still looks really good. It still looks really, really good. But this device is not connected right now. See, like that screen, let me take this out so you can see this is not connected. But uh, this screen right here, the text looked a little bit better in the other version. However, you know, we right now we have almost full uh, 16 by nine aspect ratio, while in the other version, we did not have that. So let's go ahead and skip this. Skip that. Yeah, this text, though it still looks good, it feels like it's a little bit more stretched out than before, just a little bit. But if you want a little bit more sharpness and possibly, you know, upscaling to 4K, you can do this. Use this little device here. The text is not as sharp there as it was before. Tommy huh. yeah. Let Let's go ahead and skip this. Head out of the gutter for one freaking second and big shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I Stop think the text looked better in the other yourself. version, guys. Let's skip this. Yeah, I can tell here, guys, that the what? Let me see. What what did I do there? Okay, there you go. Yeah, if we go back to the other version with this on, it looks a little bit better. Right now, the game looks fine, right? But it's still, there. there's some fuzziness, you know? This looks a tad bit sharper, you know, while we're in game. Maybe it's because the screen is stretched out. Maybe that's the reason why, because the screen is stretched out. Are you happy now? Ah! Run away from the cops. Oh my goodness, that guy's fast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we have it. I think it looks better with the M Classic. Okay, it looks better with the M Classic. But if you don't care about the little fuzziness around the guy's face and stuff like that, a little fuzziness right there, little fuzziness. Or when I say fuzziness, I mean like blurry picture. It's not 100% sharp again this is a 4k monitor this is stretched out because we're right now using the uh the 16 by 9 let's go ahead and make it um let's make it 4 by 3 to look better it's still fuzzy still has that blurriness to it so this at least adds a tiny bit more of sharpness so what do you guys think about that quality if you use the m classic it looks a lot better than using this by itself although if you don't care about the high quality sharpness this does the job perfectly you can connect your playstation 2 to your modern television via hdmi with this device and that is perfect but if you want a little bit more quality a little bit higher you know image quality when it comes to text and stuff like that a little bit more sharpness then the m classic does a great job in that as well if you like this video let me know in the comments on what you would think and also guys Please subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe and peace out.